The Loop Deck Plus is my favorite hardware interface to improve my speed and productivity in Premiere Pro and other Adobe applications. It is designed primarily for color work, allowing you to just turn any dial to optimize the clip on screen, adding the needed effect if necessary. It has a huge array of potential functions, but the default mappings for the video applications neither take advantage of all the potential functionality, nor do they maintain much consistency between different applications. Because of this, I have created my own presets that I am making freely available to anyone who wants to use them. There is a link below to where they can be found on my site. The presets are easy to import. Just select the zip file next to the instructions and choose which application mappings you want to import. I also have created labeling overlays for various applications that match these presets. Versions of these overlays can be purchased from kbcovers.com. The Loop Deck Plus has a variety of buttons, dials, and scroll wheels or rollers. Each dial and roller is also a button, which can be independently mapped to a function separate from rotating it. In many cases, this press is mapped to reset the value that the rotating is adjusting. Pretty much all inputs have a duplicate option available to be mapped when the function or FN key is held down. For example, pressing the Copy button copies the selected object to the clipboard, while pressing that button while holding down FN will cause the selected object to be cut to the clipboard instead. On my overlays, I denote the main action of an input in white text and the alternate FN action in blue text. Now the dials can be run in their default mode, which primarily targets color controls, or custom mode can be toggled on, and a separate set of mappings, primarily targeting trimming and assembly, will be activated. This secondary set of functions also allows FN alternate mappings for a total of four potential functions for each of the custom mode dials, main, FN, custom, and custom plus FN, plus click presses for each of those cases. I label the custom mode mappings in orange for my overlays and denote the custom plus FN functions in red text. The scroll wheel rollers have a total of four modes that can be utilized within Premiere, and each of those has an FN alternative for a total of eight functions for each wheel, plus click presses for each one. Some other applications like Photoshop have only three modes with the rollers, activated by the hue, sat, and loom buttons. In those cases, the color slash black and white button activates a black and white effect instead. But in Premiere Pro and After Effects, that button toggles a fourth mode for the scroll wheels, which I will call B&W mode, in comparison to hue, saturation, and luma modes, whose function mappings rarely relate to those names. I usually use B&W mode for navigation tools, and the rest will vary from there. Unlike the FN alternate functions, the various modes allow the scroll wheels to give access to multiple functions with a single hand, allowing you to keep the other hand on the keyboard or mouse, as the case may be. Now I don't see the loop deck totally replacing either one, but utilized correctly, it could probably replace 90% of your keyboard interaction, especially if you can efficiently leverage their implementation of the modifier keys, like Control, Alt, and Shift. The modifier keys are activated in keyboard mode, which is toggled by the button above them to the left. The rest of the buttons are pretty simple. They have a main function, labeled in white on my overlays, and an FN function, labeled in blue. I will examine the mappings and functions in individual programs in my upcoming videos, so keep an eye out for those. For more detailed info, check out techwithmikefirst.com.